Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an update iPad app demo for 1A Easy Writer by InfoVol. This application is in the productivity category and works on the iPad, currently sells for only 99 cents. I'm revisiting this straightforward, clean text editor to show you some of the basic functionality that I left off the first time around. You can see I've already populated some text into my document. The text editor for this application is going to be the, the two colored lines above the keyboard. I'm going to go through each one of those characters very quickly. You have here on the far left a lowercase a and this is going to lowercase the word, the letter at the beginning of the word that you have the cursor at. And as well, the next button over will uppercase the, t the first letter just as it did. There's an undo button there and then you can also do or you have a do button so a redo button and an undo button now you have some other arrow buttons here and the first one has a bar and an arrow to the left that'll actually take you to the end of a line and you have the converse functionality with the button next to it again there are double arrows to the left and those will take you a word at a time and you have again the opposite going the other way with the double arrows to the right the single arrows are pretty standard to most keyboards and those will take you a character at a time and again you can go down and go up using the up and down arrows the quotations speak for themselves now we'll take our cursor over here and the magical EUC button here provides diacritical markings in the correct spot for foreign words I'm gonna go ahead and type the word manana and you'll see that using the EUC button it's going to give me the correct diacritical marking for manana over the N. Now another very important key when I return there is a tab which is not present in most text editors. It's the arrow key there that's pointing to the right with a line at the end of it and you can tab in however far you like. Now again down here on the second line it's much thinner we can get rid of the text editor portion there and we can bring it back by tapping there. There's an opportunity to go to Wiktionary and Wikipedia with the open book. I'm offline currently so I'm not going to show you that. There's a check mark here which is also a spell checker. We can tap on it. It takes you to the next word that is spelled incorrectly. I purposely left sound in, spelled incorrectly and we can tap on it again and I also misspelled project. Also there's a Twitter icon there. You can share your lines or your tweets and there's another opportunity here let's tap off of there you can actually use this as a cut and paste area to go to the specification that you set so you can guide over to the whole word and then this middle portion will actually take you for a word or more than a word for a couple of words or several words and then as well as a whole line and you have the functionality on the far right here again that works just like the A button does here or the first one on the left now we can also push this all the way down and in this case we've gotten rid of the keyboard as well as the text editor and on the bottom you're going to see an on and off a button if we tap that off we're going to go into read mode and there's going to be no opportunity for us to edit anything at this time so we'll go ahead and put that back on you can see also that we have three different documents that we can have at a time we also have a folder which we can sync through iTunes file sharing Dropbox and iCloud and then lastly over here you have a box with an arrow in it and in here you can actually copy your text to the clipboard save as in your document folder send in an email send an email attachment again send a tweet cool thing here is you can open the app up in other applications you may have on your iPad which can be very handy and again you also have the ability to air print and we can upgrade to the other app uh, that they make as well which is an upgrade in this app that has more functionality that's it for this update iPad app demo until next time this has been Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's apps saying see ya